Hey folks, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and I've got an unboxing that's going to especially interest Canadians, but the rest of you guys might find what we've got inside the package intriguing as well. And that's because this is the first package that I've received from Integrity Knives Canada. Uh, Integrity Knives in Canada, not Canada's not part of their name. Uh, I've got a link down below for these guys. It's a store that I'm dealing with now, and hopefully, you know, some of my Canadian viewers have gotten very, very upset with Canada Border Services Agency, with them uh, confiscating knives that are being shipped in from other countries, United States, China, wherever. Uh, they're taking knives that we expect should be, you know, received into Canada with no problems at all. Knives that seem to be perfectly legal. And I 100% believe that they are totally legal, but for some reason, Canada Border Services Agency has decided not to let those go into consumers. Well, maybe you can buy them from integrityknives.com. So uh, I'm not sure what he sent me. He didn't tell me what he was going to send me, but this is hopefully the first package of many from Integrity Knives. Well, let's go to the unboxing and see what's in here. Uh, so there you go. They're a small company that just started recently, and that's why they're handwriting their address on the package. I've got my QSP worker. I have not reviewed it yet, so if you're interested in this knife, the review should be coming in September, maybe before the end of August, but I doubt it since it's the 25th already. And I've got lots going on. So just on the side, let me talk about some of the stuff that's going on in my life before we see what's in there. Um, I'm finally, tomorrow, uh, August 26th, going to be off of opioid painkillers. Yes, it's been a many, many years that I've been using opioid painkillers to, uh, you know, get through my days. <laughs> uh, because I've had chronic pain with my joints for a very, very long time. And uh, I'm going to be switched to another painkiller that's not an opioid but uh, works very, very well. And um, what we've got here today, this is a brand name I'd never heard of before. I checked Integrity Knives website, Revo. And uh, they are, I believe, a Chinese company. Let's see what it says on the box, because I haven't seen one of these. So right there, it says country of origin, China. Knife model, Berserk. Berserk G10 black, stone wash blade, color handle black. And I do like stone wash. And I do like black. And we've got some stickers. So let's put that sticker right there. That's from the company. And uh, another sticker. Aha! This is exactly the one I was most curious about. So this is not a flipper. Uh, but some people will be able to do the... Oh, wow! I might be able to learn that. If you watch my most recent review, I talked about being able to flip blades open with one hand. See, I got, I'm holding it with this hand. So let's try it with just holding it in this hand. Oops, I hit the table with my fingers. Let's see if I can do it again. Ho ho! This might be the one to teach me how to do it. Oh, I had my fingers in the right, well, wrong place. This is a frame lock knife. We've got a dual grind blade, flat grind, high flat grind, and this is also a flat grind on the front. A uh, jimping up here, that's probably an aluminum backspacer. And there's the pocket clip, a deep carry pocket clip, dual sided. G10 on the show side and probably aluminum on this side. I'll do the full review and we'll know when we do that. Stone washed a pocket clip with the letter R on it for their branding but there's no writing on the blade except for there. It says Revo. Um, I guess it doesn't stand out too terribly much. I generally don't like writing on blades, but we'll see. So frame lock, I gotta figure out, there's gotta be something here that says what kind of steel it is. Did it say on here? No, it didn't say on here what kind of steel this is. So I'll find out if I can find out quickly and put it on the screen what kind of steel this blade is. It's probably on the Integrity Knives website. And if you want to check out this brand, uh, there it is on the screen, revoknives.com. And uh, yeah, decent box. 
I like the cutout of the foam. It's a good thing. And magnetic holder, no big deal, but yeah, it's a decent box, good, secure for shipping. And uh, this blade shape, I like, it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a Japanese Tanto meets Western Tanto. It, it's a berserk. <laughs> but there's a belly on this part of the, this section here, which I like, and then this section, well, I think that's also a belly there. I don't think that's right flat. Let's take this knife. It's got a flat back and see. Yeah, it rocks just a little bit. It sort of has a forward finger toil and then your standard finger toil. Get this out of the way. We're talking about this knife right now. So this is just a small video. I also want to let you all know that um, I've done my uh, Patreon giveaway for July, which would happen place happened to take place in August. And uh, Charles C. from Los Angeles is the one who won that. And I sent him the um, Amare Field Bro, because that's the one he chose. And I'd only re reviewed three knives in July. So in August, I've done a little bit more than three already. So <laughs> hopefully you'll get a whole lot more reviews out of me in the near future. Uh, my doctor did tell me that I'm going to go through a tough few days while I, I adjust do the final adjustment away from opioid painkillers. But I am very happy to be able to get there. Well, hopefully I'll get there. Uh, there's almost, she says, there's very, 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 very few patients that go back on opioid painkillers uh, once they've been on uh, this new drug. Well, it's not that new, but it's been, it's somewhat new, new-ish uh, as used for pain. Kind of like one of my other drugs I was on, initially came about as a drug for heroin addicts to get off of heroin. And then they found it worked very well for people with chronic pain. So I'm hoping that'll be the case for me too. I do like that. That's not bad. Lanyard system right there. So the review for this will definitely not come until August. So just be patient and I'll tell you what I think of Revo. For now, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and remember friends, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Bye for now.